Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Jones with Magic Backdrops here today to give you the home video edition of our tutorial on how to set up the intelligent Magic Backdrop system and apparently I'm going to be doing this with one hand uh, so it's that easy. Um, we're in our uh, storage facility in Nighttail so um, don't mind the mess and I uh, hope uh, you enjoy it. Let's get started. Here we have the PC controller. It can easily connect into any PC um, I personally use a, a very inexpensive laptop that you can just um, uh, just pretty much a throw away. And, um, and that way you can take it to your events and not worry about uh, personal information being on it if uh, somebody runs off with it. Um, it can also run off of a SD program that you can actually insert in, onto a little SD card from your computer, uh, plug it in, and play. Uh, on the back side you basically have your, your curtain connection along with your uh, power connection and you're good to go. Uh, once you plug it in, turn it on. Uh, right now it's going to instantly um, configure to uh, the information that's on the SD card so it actually play back uh, whatever it is that you automatically put on there. Um, we personally install usually five or six programs on there uh, to get you started. Uh, that way you don't have to have the uh, uh, connected to the PC in order to use it and, um, and you're good to go. Uh, you can run, whether you run one backdrop or multiple backdrops, we just have one of them on at this time. Uh, if you run multiple backdrops, you'll daisy chain uh, these controllers together, and, uh, and you'll do that through an LAN line, uh, which we have here somewhere. Yes. So um, once you plug that in, we have an in, we have an out. Uh, the out goes to the second controller or multiple controllers. The in will be coming from your PC, and that way you can run uh, the program uh, directly from your PC. Uh, on the PC itself, you're going to actually receive uh, the program. Uh, it's going to look something like this. Once you go ahead and install it, um, you'll get a little security warning uh, that pops up. Uh, this is going to be standard. Um, and making sure that you'll accept that. Uh, so that it'll go through your firewall. And um, and then here we have uh, different options as far as, since we have two backdrops uh, daisy chained together, um, we'll go ahead and select that. Uh, the backdrop size that you choose um, will automatically configure in, um, in this little unit that when you, once you plug it into your PC, it'll automatically uh, download onto your uh, hard drive. So here we have it. Um, from here, uh, if you've already created a bunch of programs, it'll remember them. And you can just go ahead and play the programs that, uh, that you've already created. Uh, it will give you a little, a little preview of what's actually happening, happening on the big picture. Uh, so there's the little preview. It's all about the magic was what we created for the uh, SAM combined convention. Um, let's go like this. Um, once you create on the pattern that you like, uh, that you've already created, uh, let me back this up so that you can actually see what this even looks like um, with multiple backdrops. Uh, you can do the same patterns with single backdrops, it looks great, and, um, and you're good to go. So. There's the way that looks. Uh, to create a new program, it's really, really simple. So basically, uh, let's go ahead and stop um, this. And we will just add program. If, uh, I don't know if this focuses on it or not. So right here is a little add program function. Uh, we can call it whatever you want. <laughs> let's call it test. Demo. Sounds good. And um, and then you'll see it down here that it, when it appears. Um, from here, you'll go ahead and click on it and create new effect. Um, and then we've already preloaded a bunch of different effects for you to choose from. And each of these effects, uh, when you change the color, you change the um, the amount of um, uh, black space that's in between the color. It'll drastically change the look of the entire. Um, uh, deal. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, if you want to go ahead and create color text, we'll call this demo. You can go into the fonts and choose which font that you like. I mean, there's a bunch of them. Quite a few of the fonts. Um, 
as you can see, you know, it's kind of going to look a little blockish uh, for a lot of the fonts because we are working off of a grid system, but um, where there's no real curves. But uh, there's a lot of uh, great fonts in here. Um, sometimes when we make uh, custom installs and can put larger power packs uh, with these LED backdrops, then you can get a lot more uh, curves or uh, uh, LEDs in between each LED. But um, here you'll want to choose the uh, the size that's going to work best for your backdrop. So depending on the backdrop size that you choose, um, things are going to look and appear differently. Um, you can actually choose to have the end style of how it goes appear. So say for example, demo. Um, change the font just a little bit to more of a 12 font. There, fits better onto the uh, onto the backdrops we have displayed. Um, and then the move out, we'll go ahead and have them fall out, for example. Or, yeah, better yet, let's have them explode. So we'll go like uh, fragmenting. Um, as far as your color wheel goes, uh, you can pick and choose. We've uh, we've created some color wheels in there for you, but uh, you can go ahead and edit those. So if you just empty that out, uh, add in the number of the, the number of steps of a certain color that you add will say like instead of one line of of, of red LEDs, you're actually creating like in this case 11 lines of LEDs, and just maybe one line, for example, of uh, yellow, and then you get this particular look. You can have it. Um, uh, texturing, if you move it in a different direction like going up or to the left, it'll look something like that. And um, well, let's just uh, go ahead and play it and see what it looks like. I have to back up here far. Whoa! So there's demo, and then it scatters out. And then you can have it play that back however you like. If you have a lot of words or a lot of text, a lot of times um, I would just prefer to uh, scroll it in. So instead of typing it in, uh, move it from left or, you know, move it from the left. And that way it's easier to read it uh, as it comes into the screen uh, and then comes back out. Especially if you end up putting side curtains on your backdrop. I think that's ideal to... Um, because um, your, your space is going to be more towards the inside of that that they're going to be able to legibly read. Uh, when it comes to your actual patterns, um, I don't think that... Uh, let's see here, I mean, you can do all on gr gradient. So this is, again, just by using that particular color wheel that we just created. Um, let's uh, rotate it. So here would be like a rotation. Um, different steps to the, the rotation. Uh, you can make it a helix which kind of spirals it around like that. Um, if you go back through and edit the text and like say for example with this if you wanted to add a bunch more um, red, a little bit of that and maybe even maybe even some black in there. I kind of like giving um, some actual black space and then you end up with something that looks like more like that. So um, Let's, let's actually do that with more black space. So we have like 10 LEDs. Five. Um, should we do <laughs> more? Uh, let's do 10. Like that. And there's five. So um, something like that creates a, a very simple, you know, helixy kind of look. Uh, you can adjust the speed. Uh, so if you want it to be, you know, really fast or really slow, um, and then also how long it plays, like that's actually crazy fast. Uh, what appears on your screen, since it's a smaller screen, it's going to look <laughs> a lot slower. But when you get on the onto the big uh, backdrop, it's going to end up looking faster. Um, but let's just play that to to show you kind of what you what I mean. So um, here's like a simple spiral effect, and you've got yourself something kind of cool. So um, so that's how, that's how easy it is. Uh, if you have any additional questions, oh, and definitely save your work, you know, um, so go ahead and stop this. Um, a brightness, uh, in your settings, you have brightness up here, so you very easily can adjust. If you're in a, a situation where you have a lot less light, uh, these, these are going to just look very intense, so it's kind of nice to um, to adjust that down. Uh, you can also work on this offline, um, and by doing that, uh, you don't actually have to be connected to your backdrop. 
in order to create your patterns and see what's going on there. And, uh, and then save your work. Uh, and then you can save it as uh, a little SD file to throw onto the SD card on your computer. And, uh, and that way you don't have to have your laptop with you. Uh, one of the other main questions is that people ask, uh, first of all, you can actually connect Velcro very easily to, um, to these backdrops so that if you wanted to connect multiple backdrops, it's going to be very easy to do. We also put a zipper going all the way around it so it's very easy to get in there if by chance that you end up stepping on or crushing one of these LEDs. It would take a lot of effort, but it is, it's not impossible uh, to crush one of these. Uh, we do epoxy them in with like a little, um, it's like a, an epoxy for gutter glue, but that way it can easily peel off and you can just uh, reconnect a new uh, chip in there. Um, this is an RGB color changing chip, whereas some of them that we use for just the twinkle LED backdrops are just uh, still the same flat uh, chip, uh, but they're solid color LEDs for the, the simple twinkle. Um, so I hope that helps. And uh, if you have any additional questions, certainly give us a call anytime. And um, until next time, have an awesome day.